Emma had always been drawn to the abandoned house at the edge of town. She often walked by it on her way home from school, and sometimes even stopped to peek through the broken windows. Despite the warnings from her friends and family, she couldn't resist the lure of the old mansion. One day, Emma decided to take things a step further. She snuck into the house through a back door, heart racing with excitement and fear. As she made her way through the dusty rooms, she couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't alone. Suddenly, she heard a sound from upstairs. It was like nothing she had ever heard before, a low, guttural growl that seemed to come from deep within the walls. Emma froze, unsure of what to do next. But the sound grew louder, and she knew she had to investigate. She climbed the creaky stairs, feeling each step groan beneath her feet. The growling grew more intense with every passing second, until finally she reached the top of the stairs and saw the source of the noise. It was a creature unlike anything she had ever seen. It was like a cross between a wolf and a bear, with shaggy black fur and eyes that glowed in the dim light. It snarled at her, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. Emma was frozen in fear, unable to move as the creature lunged towards her. But just as it was about to pounce, the floor beneath her feet gave way and she fell through a trapdoor. She tumbled down a dark, winding tunnel, landing in a room that looked like it had been untouched for centuries. It was filled with cobwebs and dust, and the air was stale and musty. But as Emma tried to stand up, she realized that something was wrong. She couldn't move her legs. She looked down and saw that they had been replaced with the body of a spider, eight legs that twitched and scurried across the ground. She tried to scream, but all that came out was a high-pitched, insectal noise. And then she heard the growling again, closer now. She looked up and saw the creature from before, standing in the doorway. It smiled at her with a mouthful of teeth, and Emma knew that she was trapped. 